obviously we learned lessons from the first campaign. Um, I think the world is different then. That's really what's changed, both domestically and foreign policy. In 2000, we were still enjoying the benefits of the end of the Cold War, and 9-11 hadn't happened. We're in two wars. We're in this struggle against radical Islamic extremism. We have economic challenges that may have been, that, that clearly are the greatest uh, in, in many, many years. This isn't just a downturn. This is a very serious economic situation we're in. So I think the, the, the world and America has changed and greater challenges national security wise and certainly greater challenges economically, domestically. I think that many times I've been faced with decisions to be loyal to my party or the president or some group of citizens and, uh, and I've always been motivated to, to put my country first. And if I succeed in this quest for the presidency, it'll be because I was able to convince the American people that, I'll put, that I put my country first and I will put my country first because that's what Americans want right now. We are, depending on what poll you look at, either a couple of points behind or several points behind. I've always relished the underdog status. And, uh, so I think we're in a good position. I think that a lot of Americans right now are enjoying their summer and I think they'll start focusing more at the conventions in the, in the last 60 days of a campaign. I think that's generally true of the, of the primary. They waited until after the summer was over and, and began focusing. So I, I think we're in good position. I think we're the underdog and I think I'll be the underdog for quite a while.